Simpson Desert. For some, it's the ultimate outback adventure. 1100 odd sand dunes, 500 kilometers in low range, and not a fuel bowser or water tap in sight. For us though, this is what we love. And now we're heading through the Simpson Desert, which we're all so excited for. Now there are a few ways you can head through the desert. Some we've done before, but this time we're going to head a way that we've never ever been. None of us have ever been this way. We're heading along the K1 and then up through the Rig Road. Something that makes the K1 line a bit special amongst the desert tracks is that it's running north-south, so it's running in between the dunes. There'll be a few times we go up and over, but for the most part, for the next 90 kilometres, we are sort of just running along in the valley between the dunes, which is a bit of variety. Most of the tracks do just cut straight across, they go east-west. This one, you know, built for a different purpose, takes us in between the dunes, and you actually do get to see a whole lot of different countryside. Looking forward to it, should be good. You know, it's not too hard these days with a proper set of maps or even something like Google Earth or Google Maps to work out how far it is to get yourself across the desert, uh, depending on your chosen route, of course, and then to plan how much fuel you're going to need for that. Well, I reckon it's a good idea to plan for how much fuel you need, then add around 20% as a bit of a uh, margin for error. driest part of the country out here in the desert, so it stands to reason there's going to be a fair bit of dust about. I reckon one of the best ways to keep the dust out of your engine is to make sure you've got a snorkel fitted to your forby. A snorkel will make sure that your engine's breathing nice, cold, clean air from right up high and out of that dust cloud. And uh, make sure you give yourself plenty of room as well, that's a pretty obvious one too, but if old mate's kicking up a lot of dust, just slow down and back off so you're in the clean stuff and you'll be as good as gold. You might think that because the desert is so dry that there wouldn't be much wildlife. But honestly, you couldn't be more wrong. The desert's full of life. You simply have to look. You'll see beautiful birds of prey and your fair share of dingoes, especially as the light starts to fade and the heat of the day falls away. We've travelled a few hundred k's today. The sun's going down. But something that really grabs hold of me is just the colours out here. The trees, the bush, the greens, the whites and silvers and golds that come out in, in it all. But the sand, how orange the sand can get, how white the sand can get. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Have a look at this, you can probably see it over my shoulder. The sun's starting to go down here in the desert, and this is my favourite time of the day out here. This is when all the colours start to change. You get the really red gold and sands on one side. Shadows start to get a bit longer, and it is absolutely stunning. It is just gorgeous out here. I love this place. I love this time of the day. As the sun starts to set on a big day behind the wheel, we got treated to an epic Simpson sunset. This is what it's all about for me, getting to drive places like this with your mates and then kick back around the fire, enjoy a few drinks and maybe even a few tunes. This, this is the life. Really enjoyable so far taking this different way across the desert this is the rig road and a couple of things that make it different is all the tracks throughout here across these dunes have been capped with clay and that was to make uh, exploration for oil and gas crews back in the 60s a lot easier and also makes it a lot easier for us as well it's a lot easier on the trucks and no doubt on the fuel 
You also you come across a lot of lakes out here, water dry lakes, and they're just stunning. Absolutely massive, massive lakes. Something that you don't really see when you take the typical way across the desert, which is the French line. Sometimes, during long days on the road, we need to find something to amuse ourselves, so we decided to put a bit of gear to the ultimate off-road adventure show test. All right, so what we're doing, we're going to tow this brand new Unid NUH850 DLX beyond the trailer all day through the desert. Well, I'm just going to tow this uh, radio behind the car all day. Got a bit worse for wear. <laughs> Does it still work, though? <laughs> How good is that? Oh. Wow. There we go, and then. Why not? <laughs> We got a copy. Copy. Hey, still works. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> How about that, eh? The desert really is a place of beauty. The colours that come through at different times of the day are beautiful. Now as always, our desert crossing had a bit of a timeline on it. I would suggest when you cross the desert to give yourself at least four days to make it across without a film crew. For us, once again, it's time to turn on the spotties and push into the dark.